Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my melting basket for the next probably two weeks. I'm gonna go and say, yeah, about two weeks. Um, if you hear any weird noises behind me, Sugar Bear, my uh, English Mastiff, is ripping up a toy, so he's kind of loud and snorty, I apologize. Anyway, um, so this is going to be my we'll call it main living area melting basket. I'm going to, from here forward, I'm gonna have two melting baskets every two weeks. So the first one, cause I wanna keep my videos a lot shorter than they have been. Um, I'm probably gonna do empties every week from now on. And then I'm also going to do my melting basket for like the kitchen and living room. And then also a melting basket for the bedrooms and bathrooms. So two separate ones. <clears throat> this one's gonna be for the main living area. So the kitchen and living area. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was going to give you another disclaimer, but I'm tired of giving disclaimers. So <laughs> let's dive right in. Um, if you're curious about the decor <coughs> in the background of my video, excuse me, I have allergies like crazy right now. Um, this I purchased last year from Homework. So this is the uh, seashell candle pedestal. And the candles are actually from the Dollar Tree, I believe. I'm pretty sure they're from the Dollar Tree or Michaels or something. And then the candle stands here were from Michaels as well. So... Let's get started before I choke on my own spit. Um, the first thing I'd like to get through some more of is this Village Candle in Hydrangea. I bring this in quite a bit lately. I really love this candle. It is such a slow burner and it has a phenomenal performance. This sucker goes all over my house. I absolutely love it. It's one of the few florals that I do enjoy and I would like to work on it a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I think I only have, oh, I don't have any other candles for upstairs. Okay, so, oh my God, my foot's asleep. So that's the only candle I'm gonna work on for the next two weeks, I think, and uh, at least up here. And then the bedrooms, obviously, I have other things. So let's get started with the wax melts that I'm gonna be trying to get through some of. Obviously, I'm not gonna get through all of these, there's no way, but I'm gonna get through a good chunk of it. So we have a few bags here from Geo and Turner. Um, this I got from a D-Stash. I'm actually very interested in purchasing from this vendor after I get through some of my wax. Uh, this is Elderflower Ginger Cordial, which is Elderflower Ginger and Honey. Then we have Basil Strawberry Lemonade. And Tipsy Melon, which is Raspberry, Cranberry, Honeydew, and Champagne. So those are the three Geo and Turner. We have some scoopables here. Uh, this first one here, the lid broke on me, is Blueberry Buckle Cake. This is from uh, Scoopable Tart Wax, which used to be the company owned by uh, Rose Girl's mother. So Jenny from Rose Girl's, her mother. Make sense? Okay. <laughs> that is super, super strong. I love that. I'm gonna try to find that in wax uh, once I use that up. Hopefully she makes a blend in Rose Girl's that is still the exact same oils because I love that. Sorry about all the noise. I'm digging through a big box here. Um, and then we have some smaller ones. We have, oh, yuck, a hair. That's really lovely to add in there. Um, raspberry coffee, which is absolute coffee and raspberry sauce. 2,500 calories, which is sugared cake, donuts, raspberry jelly, whipped cream, and toffee donut coffee. Toffee, apple crunch, vanilla crunch, donuts, and absolute coffee. I really love scoopable wax. I know I'm in the minority for that too. I don't mind that they're messy. I do the hot dump method anyway, so whatever. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma Blue Lace, which is Blueberry Blast Vanilla Lace. From Southbound, this is an old one from 2017, uh, Unicorn Berries, Blackberry, Blueberry, Extra Strawberries, and Cotton Candy Marshmallow. This one's also super strong, even if it's old like that. This I have melting right now upstairs, and oh my god, it smells so good. Uh, Taste of Home from Sassy Girl. This is Brown Sugar Zucchini Old Town Bake Shop. I love zucchini bread. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, let's see. Oh, got another scoopable that was hiding on me. Is that the only one? Okay. And then we have apricot mango smoothie, which is apricot blended with mango and marshmallow smoothie. Okay, let's get into some clamshells and then we'll finish off with the smaller bags and scent shots. So the first clamshell I have here is from Southbound and this is strawberry marshmallow bread, which is strawberries, fresh baked bread, vanilla cream, and fluffy marshmallows. I can't wait to melt this. Um, Big Top Lemonade from the Bathing Garden. Uh, I don't have scent notes on this, woo! It's very old from 2017. Um, it is getting old, but I feel like this is still gonna be a really good strong throw. Um, it's like a fizzy lemonade scent. It's delicious, I love it. 
from the bathing garden, we have Knave of Hearts. Again, I don't think I have scent notes. Nope, it's like a raspberry scent. From Sensationals, we have Pie Season, which is just like a great pie crust scent. That one is also beast mode strong. And Scentsy Huckleberry Sage. I've actually not tried this yet. It's been in my club for like six months and I haven't even tried it yet. I'm sure I'll love it, but oh God, my leg. We'll see. Um, okay, let's do some scent shots and then we'll get into the bags. I'm trying to keep my basket smaller because I do want to have shorter videos, so that's why. <laughs> I know you guys are really tired of 30 minute long videos, but. Okay, so the first thing we have here is the Posh Olive Country Road, which is blackberry, sage, and cedar. This is lighter, but it's really, really good. I love that one. From Glitterati, we have Pomegranate Sea Lily. From Wonderberry, we have Blueberry Muffin. Uh, warm, fluffy muffins packed with juicy blueberries. From Wonderberry, we have Strawberry Raspberry Guava. And also from Wonderberry, Rainbow Sherbet. And I think this is the last send shot from Beezy Tarts. Um, and I think this is Blueberry Muffins. Obviously, you can see a trend here. Blueberry Muffins. I love blueberry. Blueberry is one of my favorite scents in wax. It's just kind of hard to find the exact perfect blueberry that I love. So I try a lot of blueberry. <laughs> all right, let's finish off with the wax here. Or they're all wax, I guess, the bags. So we have from She Loves Cake, Prince Blooming, which is butter cookies, blueberry cobbler, and toasted mallow. It's over here. From Blank Label Wax Melts, we have Pillow Talk, lemon pound cake drizzled with elderberry syrup and topped with whipped cream. Also from Blank Label, we have Frog's Breath, which is vanilla lace type, avocado, coconut milk, peach nectar, and a hint of fresh cut herbs. From Rose Girls, we have Strawberry Lemon Wackadoodle. From Wax Workshop, we have There's No Place Like Home, which is Fruit Loops and Blueberry Cobbler Ice Cream Parlor Milkshakes. From Candles from the Keeping Room, we have Persimmon. From Dessa's, we have Blackberry Jam Sugar Cookies. Oh, little scent shot. From K Scented Melts, Wild Peach Poppies. From Savannah Blue, we have Almond Cream. And last but not least, from Sweet Sage Scents, we have Cranberry Salsa, which is Cranberries, Grapes, Lemon, Pink, Grapefruit, Strawberry, Pomegranate, Apple Blossom, and Heliotrope. So that's it, you guys. That is the melting basket for the next two weeks. Like I said, I'm not gonna get through all of this by any means, but I'm gonna get through a good chunk of it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the melting basket for my bathroom and bedroom. And I will talk to you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.